Today I'm going to be answering a question in regards to weeds and the plastic that we use as to why we use the plastic and uh, so I'm hoping to get some of those questions answered here so you can better understand how we use the plastic and uh, what other tools we use to try to control the weeds over here so let's get going. So as you can see here, we have a few rows of plastic laid out and uh, the main reason why we use the plastic is to keep the weeds from go growing within the row. See over there we have tomatoes, we have some uh, eggplant further back there and um, the plastic is actually a really good tool to try to keep the weeds out of the row itself. Okay, and this is actually um, a row I'm getting ready to plant some more tomatoes, so I'm kind of prepping it up. But um, so from row to row in the center, we have about four feet, and um, it really works pretty well. Now we pull the plastic out at the end of the season. Uh, this is a biodegradable plastic uh, made from soy, but um, you know, being certified organic, we are not allowed to keep it in the ground, so it has to be pulled out, which we do uh, by hand. There is a machine that does that, but we don't have that, so we just pull it up uh, by hand. It's not that hard, um, especially if it's a, a wet day and uh, it just pulls right up. Um, but now, if we didn't use this plastic, what would happen is you would have more of the weeds growing within the row, and um, that would be problematic. Now you're probably wondering, why not just use a hoe for the whole entire thing and, and why bother with the plastic at all? Uh, which could work. The problem is in this kind of climate uh, in the Delaware area, one, if you know anything about Delaware or Maryland, we were probably one of the worst states that has issues with weeds. Um, I mean, we have all kinds of weeds and it grows very aggressively. And um, the, the best way to really do it you know in the right climate would be using the cultivator um, which is an attachment to the back of the tractor with little um, uh, like little shovels that dig into the ground and pull the weeds up but uh, you really have to have the best conditions for that and what I mean by the best conditions the soil has to be pretty dry in order for the tractor to get onto it if it's too wet it's just not gonna work somebody had also asked do we have issues with mold because of the plastic and uh, the answer to that is out here we do not have really any issues with mold. Another question you had was do we use the plastic inside the high tunnel um, or I think you assumed that we did but no we don't use plastic in the high tunnel at all we actually use um, a paper that is you know a pretty wide piece of a sheet that just biodegrades and it actually does a good job and let me uh, show you what we're talking about so uh, let's take a look inside the high tunnel real quick all right so we're in the high tunnel here and as you can see we have quite a few rows of tomatoes we have some in cages we have some staked up but um, what I'm going to show you is what we actually use in between the rows oh, I'm sorry in the rows to try to keep the weeds controlled, okay? And uh, let me kind of zoom in on over here so you can kind of see this. This is just paper, okay? A thick paper that we actually laid down um, probably, I would say, in February, right um, before we started uh, putting these plants in the ground. And uh, it does a really good job. And what I like about this, and as you can see, I mean, this is already falling apart, especially along the edges here. I need to take another a hold to this center of this uh, in between these rows. Um, but now, this is a good example, okay? See how it's open here, the hole's open here, and you have some weeds. Now, this kind of stuff, we just uh, pull it up by hand, but nowhere else is it are the weeds coming up okay just where the soil is exposed okay 
And actually, it does a pretty good job. I like this method. It, um, it makes it easier for cleanup because it just biodegrades. You can till it right into the ground. Uh, you know, there's no chemicals involved with it. Uh, a really nice thing to use uh, when we're talking about, you know, the high tunnel. Now some of you are probably wondering, well why don't we use this outside in the fields? And I would love to, the problem is, is that out there it gets exposed to the elements, it gets rained on, and it would just <laughs> fall apart way, way quick. And then it would be stuck with the weeds afterwards. So as far as the mold goes in here, we do have issues with mold. Um, and a lot of that is due to, you know, just not good air circulation. As you can see, the high tunnel over there, it's rolled up uh, over here. We had some issues with it being, um, uh, we have to repair, make some repairs on this end because it won't roll up. And the issues that we had, the mold on it was this area here because there just wasn't enough ventilation. Uh, it's important to get some nice air through um, the tomatoes, especially when, you know, you got a lot of them kind of clamp, you know, growing together like we do with the cherries. I think I remember showing you guys these cherries before. They don't grow very big. They only grow to maybe about three feet tall. We pine them pretty close together. We have three, one, two, three, in each row. So right here we have three, six, nine, uh, just in this area, tomato plants. And uh, we've already recently just harvested for the farmer's market. Um, but you can probably still see some there that are already coming ready. Uh, let me see if I can get this on the camera. Yeah, there you go. And this is where we had most of the problems with the uh, with the mold. And um, in that kind of situation, I just basically by hand took out the moldy stuff because it will spread. Unfortunately, uh, you know, unfortunately, if you don't get a handle on and see what happens here see that's dead and see that eventually will end up spreading but because these are pretty much producing already we're not too too worried about it uh, we had the same issues last year so we just try to take out the dead stuff when we see it so that it doesn't spread because it if it contacts with the rest of it it's going to spread that much faster um, but definitely keeping it clean, keeping the airflow through here. I hope that answers some of your questions in regards to the plastic and the high tunnel, what we use to prevent the weeds. Uh, but for the most part, um, the plastic is used as a preventative. And then the same with the paper inside the high tunnel. Um, everything else is done with either using a hoe for the edges of the plastic, and then we use a Troy built rototiller uh, to go in between the rows itself. So I'm going to try to uh, do some more videos. If you have a question, something like that, and I can, it, sometimes it's better for me to just do a video on it and just show you and explain it to you visually so you can understand, um, as opposed to me just writing it down and it's actually, you know, benefit for everybody. Bro. So um, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're, you know, out there growing some good veggies. Uh, some fruits, whatever you're into, and uh, support your local farmers, all right? Y'all take care. I'll see you next time.